good morning, everyone. We nearly weren't ready then. Um, <laughs> we were just having a little Monday morning catch up. Um, but hello, welcome. It's Monday. Um, we are very happy to have you joining us um, for a live launch um, this Monday. I am not alone though, I have Emily um, producing the show and then today to do the demonstrations is the wonderful Rachel. Hello. It's very strange because Rachel's normally here all the time but because she's working at home now I don't see her very often. So when it's she like comes once in, a week. <laughs> we just sit here and chat, we could chat for chat for ages and then we're like oh no it's like wait, two quick, seconds. Two seconds, <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Um, there's a few reminders before we get into the show, the pound shop that is still running and we have some new um, bits and pieces that have been added to the sale so head over to hungrydoorcrafts.co.uk there's a big banner I think if you click on that um, that will take you to the page where everything that you see is a pound so you can go on there um, and you can spend as much as you wish to so we have added more lines to there I think it's Christmas stuff is it Emily? There are, Christmas stuff, there are yeah. some Christmas bits on there, so if you want to head over there, you can see you can get super organised um, for this year. Um, we have a blog on our hub, which is why you should become a crafter. So there's different things on there. Me, Sheila, um, Rachel has sort of inputted to this blog on reasons why you should become a crafter, um, and the blog also features some of our crafting journeys. So head over to the blog, have a little read about that. It might be a bit interesting, it might be something that you think, yep, yeah, that is why I'm a crafter too. <laughs> um, we have a Win It Weekly this week, as always. Our Win It Weekly runs from Monday through to Friday, and on our Friday show, we announce the winners. This week, we have, I'm going to say four winners. Yep, yeah. yeah, there we go. We have four winners um, who are going to be in with the chance of winning our Flutterby gift bag die. This is a fantastic die which makes this beautiful, um, really large die that you can see here. Um, you can see it made up just in the top there. It does fit quite a lot in it actually. You do need to have an A4 um, die cutting machine to be able to use this, um, but if you do win it could be a great gift for someone um, that you know as well. So that is the winning prize. I lost my words then. <laughs> that is the prize for the Win It Weekly competition this week. If you want to be in with a chance, all you have to do is like, share, comment on the video with... Why do you do this to me? I don't even think... Oh my god. <laughs> what is this phobia? How do you say even it. say I it? I can't say that. Come on. I can't say that, Emily. <laughs> what is this phobia? Hippo, Tomo. hippo, tomo, so stresso, blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> Philadelphia. What? I, I. Hippopotamonstrosis quipedaleophobia. <laughs> anyway, what is that phobia? We're going to have to have words about these questions because they're getting to another extreme. Um, so, is the phobia a a fear of hippos? B, a fear of long words, what I clearly have, <laughs> um, or C, a fear of cheese. A fear of cheese? Could you imagine having a fear of cheese? Who is this person? These people aren't real. Can cheese. you imagine telling someone that you have got a fear of cheese? Imagine cheese not existing. I think the world would end if there was no cheese in the world. Um, so what is this phobia? Um, if you can pronounce it, you can get an extra big tick against your name. Um, is it A, the fear of hippos? B, the fear of long words, or C, the fear of cheese. What <laughs> on earth, Emily? But That's if you, the best question ever. <laughs> if you can give it a great guess, um, you can like, share, comment with what you think the word is, um, and we will send this straight out to you on Friday if you are the lucky winner. There's going to be four of them as well, which is really nice. Not just one, there's going to be four. Um, so what is that phobia? That is our Win It Weekly question. Um, now, let's introduce you to our brand new stamps. Here's a little bit of VT. Oh, 
we were just talking about if you have a fear of cheese. <laughs> is it actual cheese or is it holes in cheese? Because I think holes is a different phobia. So maybe there's both. Who knows? Anyway, they're both crazy. Um, <laughs> if you don't have a clue, if you've just tuned in and you don't have a clue what I'm talking about, cheese. Um, we'll, we'll run through that question a little bit later. I might try and pronounce it, probably won't, um, <laughs> because that's just going to make me look even more of a fool. So we have four new stamp sets for you today. These are our all occasions stamp a card stamps. They're a little bit different from last year's format, which I think I really like um, because you can personalize them and mix them up for different occasions. So we will run through the first one, which is our new adventures. They are bigger, as you can see, these are A5 stamp sets. Um, nearly got that wrong then. So these are A5 stamp sets. And as you can see, you have your big stamp and then you have lots of sentiments and some elements um, which you can mix and match. So the idea here, as always, is that you have one really large stamp set, which you can see on this area here. So the stamp set here doesn't include these two bits. It's just got the mountains and the um, wonderful clouds. And then you've got your uh, lost, what are those? <laughs> hot air balloons. Yes, hot air balloons. There we go. <laughs> I'm looking at it like, what, what is this? <laughs> Hello, welcome to Monday with Natalie. Oh, 2019. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. My memory is getting really bad. I keep doing this. Yeah, I, need to go, I need to go to the doctors because <laughs> there is something wrong here. Air balloons. And then you have your other elements. So you have the stalk because maybe this is for a new baby. You have an extra air balloon which you can mix and match. And then it's got some really lovely sentiments on here. Um, which you can then personalize your um, card with for lots of different new adventures. So you have your greatest adventure has just begun. Thank you for all the small things you do and for your big heart. You have wishing you all the best as, your, as you begin your new journey and you have congratulations on your little bundle of joy. I really like this stamp set. The team have done an amazing yeah, job yeah. of this using this stamp. I'm going to show you some of them here. Um, this one was created by Michelle. So she has used the little added elements to decorate the front of her diorama. And then on the inside, as you can see, you've just got those mountains and then the stalk carrying um, that little one to its parents. I love this idea. So and this cute. is where you can get really creative with your stamps as well, because you don't have to use it as a whole stamp. You can use um, just the air balloons, create nice cards, use some adorable scrubble or pattern packs in there um, to decorate the background. You can use the whole stamp, um, but you don't have to just make a six stamps. You can do what Rach did here, um, and she's used the air balloon to create a really beautiful background. But you can see in just those three cards, um, the different styles you can create, the different cards you can make here. Um, and then this one is another one I really like by I Jessica, where she has cut out all of her air balloons, done a beautiful sort of ombre there, a rainbow effect. Um, so there's so much you can do with these cards. There's loads around in the background as well that I really, really like. Let me just steal another few to show you. So this one here um, is very, very cute. So you can see the difference in this one because it's really colored super super bright and then you've got ones that are very sort of muted um, and the tones are a little bit more pastels in there and then this is another one that i really like as well so this one was created by jessica again where she's made this on a eight by four card she's extended her top and bottom of the stamp and then filled it in and used some parchment um, there as well, but I really like the background in here because she's created sort of like a cloud effect with some sort of like torn Torn paper, which is a really nice way of creating your backgrounds. So that is your first one. That is new beginnings We're gonna go to Rach now. She's gonna do a little demonstration with this stamp for you Okay, so I'm gonna make a What did you put? Di diorama? A diorama. diorama card There we go. We both can't speak today <laughs> Not just me <laughs> So, um, I've already started with this, 
it took me ages to prep it. So I've already got, so this is the new adorable scorable in pink. And then, um, first of all, we are going to score it. So I've cut two pieces of this. This is at five by eight. And then we're gonna ooh, just score this at one inch and one and a half inch. And we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna score it one inch and one and a half inch again. So this is gonna be the front. So we're just gonna fold that and then we're just gonna fold that one out and do that the other side. And then I'm just gonna get my other piece and then I'm just going to do, so I want this to be on the back. So I'm gonna turn it around so it's the white side and then we're just gonna score it one and one and a half and one and one and a half again so this is going to be the back piece so i want the pink to be showing so i done that the right way yeah no that way and then that one all right so now i've got my front and my back if i turn it up so you've got so it's like that it's going to get rid of that so we're just going to work on the front bit for now. So I'm going to open it back up and then I've just got, so this is the rounded Ooh, square. That look really nice. Yeah, I thought it might be a bit different with the roundedness. Um, oh, there it is. Right, I'm just going to secure this with purple tape and I'm just yeah, going to run it through. Yeah, when you're doing dioramas, the, the one thing you so don't slim. want <laughs> is for them to move about. So Definitely you need to. Not. Make sure you're securing your dies down when you're doing things like this with that low tack tape, which is actually a really good tape because it does not yeah. budge for low tack. It it's is actually really quite good. high yeah. tack, isn't it? I know um, sometimes it, it stays on the card. <laughs> right, so I'm just gonna run this through my machine. Have you used this machine yet, Rach? Yes, I used it last week. I love it. I may. I absolutely it's love it. It's such a great size. It's so easy to use. I mean, don't get me wrong, the electronic machines are amazing, but this is just so much more handy. And you can just like place it on the desk oh, and it's so, it's so, oh, so good. It is so um, good. We have some available on the website if you um, are looking at wanting a new die cutting machine, but I do know that they go super fast because we have lots of people ordering them. Yes. And um, I always hear Joanne on the phone saying, We've ordered some need more <laughs> from Crafters. They're going to be in soon. Um, so, yeah, if you like that die cut machine as much as we do, then, then you can it, definitely yeah. get that. But please don't order it before I do. Yeah, <laughs> so leave so no. a couple behind because me and Rach are waiting. <laughs> right, so I've already... So I've cut down um, a piece of ink me card and I've stamped the bottom image with the mountains on. And then I've also got um, another piece of ink me card. So I've cut this to five by five. Then this is going to have the top hot air balloons on. So I'm going to get my stamping press. And I'm just going to put this paper down. And yes, my, stamp, um, my stamping press is very messy. That's what your stamping press is exactly. there for, Rachel. I absolutely, I like it messy. <laughs> it just knows that it's used a lot. <laughs> it is used a lot. So I'm just going to measure this up. So we want this to be in the middle of the card. So, because the stamp is a bit smaller than the actual card. And I don't want that at the bottom, so that's all right. Oh, no, oh dear. Let's put that on there. So measured that up and then I'm going to stick that down. So don't worry about the bottom bit because I'm not going to ink that. Um, and then I'm going to get my ink so I'm using Mementos and then I'm just going to ink them hot air balloons And I'm going to stamp that onto my card. 
And then I'm just going to go back in because it's missed out that little star there. Perfect. Do you like stamping more than paper craft or are you sort of the other way around? I don't know. See, when I first started, I absolutely loved like paper kits, but actually now stamps are... They're good, uh, aren't they? I it's absolutely good, love stamping. You like stamping as well, don't I you? I love stamping. Um, yeah, I think I like it because you can do things like this. Yeah. Where, you know, you're taking that stamp and you're recreating the way that you yeah, do it. Yeah, definitely. That. And you can you can colour it as well, whatever you want it to be. Yeah. So, I'm going to just use my marker pens and I'm just going to colour in these mountains. So, we're going to colour these light grey and then I've also got a a darker grey to go over. So I'm going to just colour them all in. I'm going to add the shade. I think I've used the right pen. And then I've got a darker grey and I'm just going to just highlight the top. Just doing some little shadow. And then I'm going to do a bit here as well. And then I'm going to go back over with my lighter grey again. So it blends in a little bit more. Yeah, just get them topped. We have loads of people watching today, which is really, really nice. Oh, that's good. Got some comments. I have just oh, wonderful. logged on, so we'll read through some of these now. So with my clouds, I think I've got the right colour. Yeah, so for my clouds, I've got a really light blue colour. I'm not going to colour all of these in. I'm just going to colour it where I think the shadow will be just to give it a little bit of colour and then I'm going to take my top piece as well and I'm going to start colouring in them clouds. Lots of people are joining us. Jacqueline said um, it was very funny how fussed I got with that question. <laughs> Emily definitely did that on purpose. Definitely she knows did. me too well to know that I was not <laughs> pronouncing that. Um, but good morning to everyone who's watching. Tina, Lorna, Kim's watching, Lynn is watching as always. Jane has said she loves the hot air balloons. She lives in Bristol and they usually Ooh. have an annual balloon fiesta. Oh, that's How good would good. that be? That just Even if you good. weren't taking part, just to sit and watch it, it would be so good. Right, so I'm just using my pink now. So we're going to do this. So it's going to go to some parents that have had a lovely little girl. And we're just going to colour that all in. And then we're going to go back with the darker pink and add some shade onto the sides. Lots of people are also saying how they are into card making, but they've since um, stamped or yeah. Lynn says so she likes both stamping and die cutting. Jane says she's never stamped or used die cutting. Oh. She loves paper crafting with the kits. Um, Jane, you should definitely, definitely um, stamp. get into some different crafts. Maybe that should be. I, th I think I always like to do that each year. I like to learn yeah. a new craft. Maybe that could be something that we do. Yeah, definitely. So we're just going to do the sides. And then again, like what we did the mountains, we're going to go in with the lighter pink to just blend that all in a little bit more. I do love these pens. And they get such a beautiful finish. Like you've just used two colours there and there's, to do there's those. There's like three colours in But it, it looks so good. I know, I do really like these. Right, and then we're going to go in. So I've got a, a, oh, I need to do them ones as well. We'll do that after. So I'm going to go in, and this is a brown colour for the... The air balloons. The hot air balloons where people stand. The basket, that's the one. Right, and I'm just going to do that one as well. Lots of people are saying that they... Oh, Michelle says, the Prism Craft Markers are amazing, my fave. I 100% agree with that one. Um, lots of people are saying uh, that they have, about air balloons, that they go over Ooh. their houses, that um, that they've been in an air, air yeah. balloon. Abby said in 1990, I went up in an air wow. balloon. 
Um, it was a fabulous time. Do it if you get the opportunity. I would love that. I don't think I'd like I'd, it. I'd also be very, very scared until yeah. I got to the top. I think but I'd I be scared in case it. It, it would just go down anywhere. But I suppose that, you know, you've got someone that's flying it, so they're trying to land it properly. Right, so I'm going to just colour these stars in, it's like a lighter pink, pink but it's more like a neon colour. So they have a stand out. And then we're going to get some of our inks. I don't want this background to be white. I want it to be a nice blue colour. Right. So I'm going to just get my inks and I'm going to use periwinkle. Um, oh, there it is. I'll just add that. I'm going to use the shimmer. So we don't want this to be too too much. We're just going to do it so it's like a light light blue on there. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see it or not. I think it is picking it up a little bit. Yeah. So um, just very lightly. I think the other camera picks it up sometimes a little bit better. Yeah. When, you, when you've brought it up. You can actually see the difference with the white bit. Other can see it. There. Yeah. Just slightly. But that's yeah. all you really want, isn't it? Yeah, a definitely. Light, a light colour across there. Because otherwise it will cover the, the pens. So I'm just going to do that a little bit there. Now with this part, I'm going to cut this out. So we don't need to do that too much. So I'm just going to get my scissors. And then, so this is going to be stuck to the inside of the front. So I'm just going to cut round. I'm going to actually just cut them stars off that I've coloured. That's all right. And then we're going to cut that cloud off as well. Otherwise it'll be floating in there. And cut round them balloons because I want them to be on. And I'm going to cut them stars as well. Right. So then, so I've done it so it's like that, so we're not cutting all of the card off because then I'm going to just see where I want this and then see if I need to, so I don't need to cut any off the sides, I can cut the bottom off when it's actually stuck on. Mm. So I'm going to use, there it is. so I've got my double sided tape, so I'm just going to, so from the inside I've just stuck a little bit. And, and then a little bit on the corners just to catch it. This is going to look really good when you put it all together. Yeah, on, um, on Thursday I sat and like, prepped and thought about what I wanted to do. I was like, oh, I like this. It looks so good. Right, so I'm just going to stick that on there. And then I'm just going to cut away that little bit from the bottom. So, just going to fold them. And then with the, the back bit, so I'm just going to, so I need to cut down this card just a little bit. So I'm just going to take a little bit off, just so it fits in there. And this doesn't need to be perfect because on the front one there is that panel still that goes round yeah, so, you so you won't see, see it all the little gaps right so i'm just going to get my double sided tape and stick that on and then and stick that on there so we're going to do a sentiment so I thought what would be quite cool is if I had some acetate. Yeah. So we're going to do an acetate panel to go in the front. So I'm going to stamp it out. I've already, I've done one just in case it doesn't quite <laughs> stamp. Doesn't quite stay on. <laughs> this is, I think this is a thing, and this is good to actually show because I think this is a thing that people don't necessarily think you can do. Yeah. Now you can stamp in onto acetate is really, really good. We've got 
um, an article that Rachel did actually in oh, our most yes, latest magazine about stamping onto acetate. Um, because you can just stamp with um, a stays on, which is a permanent ink, or you can heat emboss um, onto acetate. And it Sometimes looks so good. Sometimes you have to good. use um, a heat resistant acetate, which Crafters Companion do a really good heat resistant oh, acetate. Oh yeah, that is really good. Um, but it is something that you can do and it adds, when you're doing cards like this, it really does make them look um, spectacular. Right, so I'm just lining that up with the front panel. I'm going to pop it there. And then, so we're going to use stays on with this. And I think as well, when you're doing this, you need to make sure you've got so much ink on there, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Because it, it needs to be super juicy so it sticks. And as well, because you're using your stamping press, you can go into it a number yeah. of times, which I think is a yeah, good thing to do as well. Sometimes it, it does like, stick to the acetate, so just give it, don't force it off. Just give it time to pop back up. <laughs> Yay, it makes a great what? noise. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Right, so that is our sentiment stamped onto the acetate. It looks really good already. And then, so we're going to get the back piece. So, oh, the acetate that I've cut down, that was five by seven. And that's going to fit it? the whole way across, I'm guessing, yeah. so that it'll stick to yeah, the larger bit. that's it. So we're just going to put some tape on the back of here. And then we're going to stick that panel on. Jane says she loved the smells of stays on. I agree. Oh, yeah. It has the best what it's, smell. What it does it smell like? like? Marzipan. Marzipan, that's it. I always, yeah, I always so like smell it and go, this good. smells like something really good. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to be careful just to line that up. And then and on the other side as well. And then, and then we're going to pop some tape on the front panel as well. And then we're going to stick that on. Then I've also got, yeah, I have got them there. I've also cut down some of the elements. So we've got the little stalk. And I think there's another hot air balloon as well. And we're going to stick them to the front bit. This is going to look so good. Right. Where's that? So that acetate, up. the sentiment it being looks on that acetate. really effective, it's doesn't it? so good. I like how there's like three, because it gives you like another dimension to yeah. the card as well, which is really cool. Right, I'm just going to cut down some foam pads. So we've got the little stalk carrying the baby. Lots of people are guessing this phobia, Emily. I wonder how long it took them to type it into Google. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My answer was most definitely... Um, <laughs> most definitely the first was A, I think. Hippos. Hippos, just because it makes sense. It's got a hippo in it. But we'll see. I really want it to be cheese though. <laughs> right. And there you go. Oh, I love that. And you've got the acetate in there. You've got those different dimensions that you can see. It does look so good. And it's a really, really good demo because it shows you yeah. that you don't just have to stamp it um, and keep your stamp as a whole A6. You can be as in inventive as you want to and create some really it. beautiful yeah. cards. Rachel, I love that. Thank you. I want to make that now. <laughs> I'm going to go out of here and make it, but I have a busy day. Um, next, we have our thoughtful moments. So this is the second of our stamp set. So I'll show it you um, in the packaging what you're going to get. You're going to get that A6 stamp. You're going to get four different sentiments and those little elements included as well. So once we have stamped this out, as you can see here, you have that beautiful array of flowers coming up and um, above on your stamp set. Then you have your elements. So there's a, a really lovely selection of butterflies, different stages of flight. And then you have the falling um, flower petals as well on there. 
The sentiments on here are really, really nice actually. Um, this is probably one that is more suited to those different occasions that you have. So we've got a house is made of walls and beams, a home is made of love and dreams. Uh -huh. um, when someone you love becomes a memory, the memory becomes a treasure. Thinking of you and wishing you a speedy recovery. We've got relax, rest and take care of you. So that is our thoughtful moments, our A5 stamp set and that is £10. So each of the stamp sets today are £10 um, but you can get them as a bundle on an amazing offer. Um, so these are some examples of how you can use this card. I really like the what Jessica's done here, keeping it yeah. all in those blue tones, adding some um, matastic to it as well. We've got another beautiful one here by um, Kim. The colouring on this is so beautiful. Um, beautiful pinks and greens on here. And then possibly you don't want to make your card up um, as a whole. You can do what Jessica's done here and just have those flowers um, sort of repeating and tiling across the bottom there. Um, and how beautiful is that sentiment? Thinking of you and wishing you a speedy recovery. And then this one, I absolutely oh, love. So I Natalia love has made this one. Um, Natalia is such a talented stamper. Um, so what she's done here is she stamped and heat embossed that A6 image onto a piece of acetate. Then on the inside, you have the flowers. And then when you open that up, you have um, that beautiful background. Such a creative way of it's using lovely. your stamps. Um, so thank you for this amazing sample. Um, we're going to show you the next one and then we're going to go to Rachel for a demo. So the next one is our Blessed With Love. Um, again, you have that wonderful frame as you do with all of our stamper cards, but this time you've got a, a large array of sentiments and you've got a few different elements in there. So we'll show you it on a board so you can see it's stamped out. So what you're going to get um, is this beautiful floral arrangement. I love this. Um, Sheila would made a wonderful card um, with this where she cut this out into layers and made um, mm -hmm. them on different sort of levels. It looked amazing. So you've got the bird in there, you've got the wedding bells in there, and then the sentiments you have included on this one cover a range of different occasions. Um, so you've got to love, laughter, and happy ever after, um, side by side, year after year, love grows more precious and more dear. I'm reading these upside down, by the way. Um, <laughs> love is love and blessings on your christening day. Um, you've got crack, congratulations. So this one here, you've got congratulations on your, and then you've got three different sentiments you can have here. So you've got first Holy Communion, baptism, and confirmation. So that is a really nice array of different occasions there because. I can tell you for one that if you're looking for a stamp or something that is a bit more religious um, and covers communions and baptisms, it is a little bit more harder yeah, to find. So yeah. this is great because you have that whole variety on here. Um, oh, there's some lovely cards in this one as well. Um, Natalia again has made this into a little shaker card. I love how she's also stamped those bells on the inside, but you can see them as part of the front of the card. So how about making a shaker? Um, you can use just those elements on their own and you can make a really nice simple card there with those bells on. Thank you, Kim. We've also got one that's, this one's done I by Kim as well. Um, so using some of our dyes, look how vibrant those colours are as, in that card as well. And she's it, stamped in the clouds as well. as She, she has, you can get so creative with the different things you do on here. And then another one, which is, um, a favourite of mine, which is yeah, Kim's again nice actually, stuff. is she's made this beautiful aperture with her stamp on the inside. Again, um, some wonderful colouring on these samples. So Rach, what are you going to do next? So I'm going to I'm going to go a bit simpler. So we're going to uh, I'm just going to show you how they work with just the stamp. Right, so I've cut down. Um, this is from our watercolour card. I've cut down. Uh, A6 card, so we're going to do it a tenth fold. So I'm just going to put this, I'm going to open it out and just pop it on my stamping press. So I'm going to just use a bit 
of the purple tape on the side here just to make sure that it's down properly. Lots of people are loving the, um, the samples. I think the design team have done really well with it. They these. did amazing, didn't they? When they came, we were like, it's like, oh my God, this what? is great. These are absolutely beautiful. Um, lots of people are loving them. Lynn says the confirmation one is good because you rarely see that anywhere. I agree. Yeah. You can, you find it very difficult to probably find cards in, in shops that have that on Yeah. To be able, to, if someone comes to you and says, can you make me a card that has, um, for a, a first communion or a confirmation, um, you, you're going to be able to do that. So I'm just going to ink this stamp up. So I'm using the VersaFine for this because we're going to use our watercolour pens. Oh, almost. Abby says your stamping press needs cleaning, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So, it's, it's a it's very it's loved used, stamping press. It's a used <laughs> stamping press. I think if it was clean, then I wouldn't know it's mine. <laughs> it's very true. We do have to keep things um, in our own little ways in here to be able to know whose is who. Right, so that is stamped perfectly. So I'm just going to take that tape Look how off. precise that is. You've it's got so a, lovely. that border you have the whole way around. I know. It's giving me feels. Ooh. I love it when it stamps and it's perfectly... In the middle, you don't have to trim anything off. Nice. You can Next. just go. Right, so I'm going to just get my watercolour pens. So I'm going to use, what ones are these? Um, the rainbow pastel pens. And then I've also got two colours from the green set. Is that the um, forest walk? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, forest walk. So I'm going to open them out. I'm going to use that to... And I've also got my water pen as well. So we're going to start off with the greenery. So I've got a couple of green pens. I'm just going to take them out. And I'm just going to. So I don't want this to be very precise. So we're just going to randomly colour it in. So we're going to make it so it's quite a light colour. So I'm just going to do them ones to begin with. And then I'm just going to get my water. Brush. I'm just going to circle it out. I like um, when you're using these pens specifically for um, floral designs. Yeah, they look really like watercolour, yeah, like painting. Yeah, such a nice, like, yeah. natural, like, painted wash to them. Um, and it really suits the artwork. It does. And especially because some of them, like, some of the parts are really small. Yeah. So and you can't quite necessarily get into <laughs> yeah. those details with your pens, but... Being able to just use these um, colours and, and add little bits where you want to and wash them out, you get some, some really nice effects there. So, so I've just put a bit of water on this one here and I'm just going to go back in just on the middle part just to make that a bit brighter. And then, so we've got a little bit down here as well. Um, and then there's some leaves here, so I'm going to just do them. And then, I think, oh, let's use that one for that. So it's a bit of a darker green. And we've got some little leaves just hiding there in the corner. And then I'm just going to get my water brush. So I'm just going to spread that out a little bit. Lots of people are um, guessing the Win It Weekly question. Right, and um, we'll go through that shortly because it is a very good question it is a very good question right. well, i think we need to go into google to I would like get them to i like, would have say loved it. to have heard dan try to <laughs> try to pronounce that because he would have given it a good go he would have probably known it as well he used the word accoutrement like i've got this every single show that we do so i'm just going to turn that around so this bit that I'm doing now is the top bit. So again, just have it do a little bit. And then I've also got the brown as well for these. And spread that out. And then let's do these ones here. So I'm gonna do these ones 
a darker green. They stand out. That one there. Um, there are so many little bits and pieces there to go is. in, isn't there? There is loads of it. I know you, you, could, you could spend hours. Oh, you this definitely stamping. could. You could colour all of those super fine details in. You could Add create the some shading. Shading. Oh, and yeah. It would look amazing. Are you going to do them ones? There. Lighter green. And then we've just got these little bits here. So I'm going to colour them in brown. And they're going to have green leaves. So... I'm not going to worry if we go out of the lines a little bit because I'm just going to watercolour over it. And then, so I'm just going to colour these little leaves in. I'm going to colour them a bright green so they stand out. And we're going to go in with our other colours and then just colour the flowers in as well. And some more over here. I think this stamp looks really good heat embossed as well. Oh yeah, I absolutely love that card though. Well, who was it? Natalia. Natalia with the heat yeah, embossed that was and then she coloured behind lovely. it. Um, but yeah, if you didn't want to spend your time colouring in these stamps, you could also create some really beautiful effects with um, some heat embossing as well. I wonder if you could like paper piece some of the flowers as well. Now, that might, it might be um, quite a long time to do it, but I think in the end Ooh, that yeah, will look would absolutely look quite lovely. Good, actually. Um, Sally Ann has ordered them, her hubby has ordered them, um, she said it's a bargain price of £32, I agree, if you if you like these stamps and you want to get the whole collection today you can get all four stamps for um, £32, so you're going to get them on a great deal, so you can get them individually if just one of them is something that you want or you can buy all of them for £32, I would be getting all of them and me. for sure. I don't think I could actually choose which one I like the best. Right, so I'm just going to colour. This is a good question. Carol, Caroline says, yep. I'm about to try stamping and I have the prism pens. How do you choose where to put your shading? It's a good question because mm. I think probably different people will do different things, yeah. don't they? I, myself, would probably choose one side to create darker. Yeah. Um, or you can maybe do sort of darker on the outside of things and then the middle bits are lighter it kind of depends how or what you're stamping as well yeah i Flowers think it are does a little depend. bit different i think because it obviously like with the hot air balloons i did round the the Sides. edges and then like the top and the bottom but that's to make it so it's more so it circular more rounded, yeah. yeah so it, it depends i think um i sometimes like to when i'm coloring stamps as well i like to go online and yes. actually look at a at physical what you picture stamping. of what yeah. I would be stamping so if that would be a certain yeah, type of flower um, and then you can sort of go off that so that's a, a kind of way that you can trick around it otherwise just pick a side do one side darker that's a nice way of doing it but it does depend on what you're stamping but I hope that helped I think sometimes as well, it's easy if you like do a little um, swatch card, is that what they're called, oh, yeah. of like the stuff, so and you can actually see the colours and then you like pick a darker one that matches as well. Oh, Alan's actually watching as well. Aww. Alan said, um, the wife smiled during the demo, so I couldn't resist. <laughs> couldn't resist her, she's the best, so he's, how nice of him. Well, I hope you have lots of fun making cards with them when you get them home. All right, so I'm just going to colour the... Julie flat. says, what type of card are you using, Rach? So this is a prism watercolour card. It will be our prism um, premium, premium watercolour card, um, which is, it has a really nice finish, actually, and when you're using these, these um, pens in particular, um, it allows the colour to blend a lot more. They so do blend so well. So, so well. Sometimes I can stamp onto normal, regular card and just, um, I haven't thought about what I'm going to colour them. Oh, and I'll, yeah. I'll go, oh, I want to colour with these ones and I'll I put the colour down straight away. And you, you don't get the movement you get with no, the watercolour card. So 
definitely if you're gonna um, color with your um, pr prism watercolor pens, watercolor pens then you need to use that um, premium watercolor pad and you can get it in two different sizes as well I think we do a pad of A4 or a pad of A5 so up to your choice on the style or size of cards that you're going to be creating there. Right so I've just stamped these flowers in purple I'm just going to go in and do a yellow middle bit for them and then and I've also got some over here as well. It's looking very good already. Thank you. Right, and then I think... So if I'm not sending this out, I'm just going to test which colour it was. I know, sometimes it's good to have a little... Um, oh, it definitely Because the colours are quite similar to the caps, but sometimes um, when you're trying to work out what colours will best some of them work together for blending and things like that it's good to have like a little um scrap of card maybe hanging around so you can just um put the color down and see if that is what you want to to use i've wrote all mine down in um, in my notebook at Scribble home. Them all down. Yeah. that's a good idea actually yes yeah, so i can just put it out Create especially yourself a little yeah when you're using like different packs as well it is easy to oh that color goes with that pack where right, i get that pack and then, right, so I'm just going to do a little bit of shading up here. And then we're going to just colour this one. I'm going to colour this one in pink, so it gives it a bit more colour down here. It does look very good there. The colours you've used are very, very pretty. Together. I love this pack. I think that this pack of pens my favourite. This is the pastel. So is it many the pastel, ra the rainbow Yeah, pastels. the rainbow pa pastel ones. I've used two different colours from a different pack, like the greens, but... Other than that, they all are just from this one pack. It's very, very cute. So we've just got a little bit of greenery behind that, sneaking in. And then let's do that one a little bit pink. Right, so then I'm going to, before I'm, so I am going to do a sentiment on it, but before I do that, I've just got, oh, where, there it is. I've just got one of my stamping um, blocks, and yes, this is also dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to scribble a little bit of the pen onto that. I'm just going to get my watercolour brush. So we want this to be very faint. And round the edge, I'm just going to make it so it's ah, got a little bit of a border. A little border. And this is the beauty of these pens, because you don't just have to directly yeah. put these pens onto... Um, onto the paper the you can create like little palettes so you can create lighter colors and then go in with the darker color afterwards um, by putting them down on either an acrylic block or on your mats um, you can even color directly onto your stamps it takes a little bit oh, of while yeah. for the color to sort of be really really vibrant but you can use the colors color in your stamps directly and use your stamp and press um, so you can repeat the repeat the process till the colour is as vibrant as you like um, but there's they're so useful there's loads that you can do with them um, there is so much the craft markers are definitely my favourite but yeah. um, I think that's Didn't just because I've, I've used them more um, whereas now I'm starting to use these a little bit more there are there are definitely certain cards I like to use these yeah, they have for their and own craft different markers things, don't they? are definitely better for maybe other images so we're just going to put this back onto the stamping press to put the sentiment on. So we're going to use this one. So thinking of you and wishing you a speedy recovery. And I'm going to take my stamp off. Leslie says, what happens with all the demo cards you make? Um, Leslie, sometimes we give them away. Um, you can head over to um, either the Hungry Dory Facebook page or our Facebook pages and we'll sometimes do giveaways where you can win the cards that we've made. I think Sheila's um, got one out. Sheila's oh, got one out right yeah, now. Does. You can win one of the cards she made on Friday's show. Yeah. Um, sometimes we keep the um, sometimes very special ones. Um, you get requests from grandparents that they require that card. 
so you have to ship the card to the grandparent. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> um, or parent. Um, but most of the time we do give them away. I have a huge bundle on my desk of cards that I have done in the last, say, probably since November. So wow. there's a real load of cards that I have um, sort of on my Stacked desk. Up. I am waiting to do a huge giveaway. Um, That's not a so bad idea, though. Head in. So look out for though. that because we're going to try, I think at the moment, I've got about 700 likes on my Facebook page. But once we get to 1,000, I think I'll do a big 1,000 card giveaway and give away all the all the cards that I have in my desk. I think that's the plan. That so is a good you, plan. If you haven't already, get liking, because then you could be one person that gets picked out to win those cards. And there is loads, absolutely loads. All right, so I'm just, I've just stamped them butterflies on. And there you go. So cute. Look at those colours. That watercolour effect looks amazing and that is yeah, just yeah. stamping onto some card um, and colouring it. And in. it shows how intricate and detailed those stamps are and how you really don't have to um, be, be really fancy and do creative things. If you just want to stamp these and colour them in, um, you can make some beautiful cards as well. We have a few more things to show you. We've got the last stamp set. This is um, our celebratory occasions. I love this one. It is very, very cute. So you have the main frame, which has these beautiful borders. You've got all of those sort of ribbons. You've got the stars. Um, you've got two elements inside that you can use. You've got balloons and the little champagne glasses. And then you've got some great sentiments for lots of different occasions. So we've got happy birthday. We've got with each passing year, you shine even brighter. I hope all your wishes and dreams come true. You've got, couldn't be pr more proud of you, which I think is really nice when you get a card that says that. That is. And then we've got a big good look that you can see here. And then like the other ones, we've got different um, sentiments that you can put underneath here to personalize your cards. So we've got good luck, and then we've got wishes, good luck in your exams, good luck you've got this, or good luck in your new job. So again, it's another stamp set that not only um, has that beautiful border that you can decorate all your cards with, but it's a lot more versatile because you've got so many different occasions which you could send this for. Again, we have in a really, really beautiful array of cards. So we've got this one here, which has been heat embossed um, in black. I absolutely love this. Yeah, I made so a card simple, isn't it? Um, like this, but I cut out the outside of the frame and turned this into a shaker. But just having it heat embossed, it really is quite spectacular. Then we've got this one here by Jessica. I love the um, the real intensity of the blue on here. It's absolutely fabulous. So she's done this blue background um, and then she's coloured in her stars in black to match her wording. Um, but it is oh, so good. Um, Jessica is very, very talented. Um, and then we've got this one that Sheila made um, yesterday in her show. So this is using one of the items I'm going to show you next for you. Um, and then she's done some paper piecing with the stars and the words, which I think is really, really nice. And then this one is huge. That's so you can so see good. here how you can use those um, smaller stamps to create your backgrounds. And then we've got that wonderful shaker border, which if I bring those up, you can see that falling down. And using two different sentiments as well, which I think is um, a really nice idea. So that one is by Jessica Farrar. Thank you very much, Jessica. Um, and then you've got your stamps. You'll also need some little bits and pieces um, to go with them. So we have um, two different things um, to show you. First of all is our A6 um, card blanks. So these are card blanks made from our Matastic cardstock. They are pre-scored. All you have to do is fold them and you have your card ready to go. Although it would be this way, otherwise you'd be <laughs> opening it wrong. Um, so we've got that in an array of colours. You can see there you've got cornflower, you've got a beautiful um, purple, you've got the honey, you've got magnolia, 
you've got the orange, I think it's a peach actually, or apricot, is it apricot burst? I think something like that. Then we've got salmon and ocean, sp ocean spray, yeah, I feel. Ocean spray. Oh, and then we have a lighter green as well. So you're gonna get in here three of each color um, in A5. Um, so it's ready to go really. All you have to do, they're A5, and then you fold it down, that's gonna turn into your A6 card blank. And then all you need to do is stamp your image and you can see that those stamps will fit perfectly inside there. Um, so you can use these to make some really quick cards. Because it's matastic, you can color in on here. So you can use your um, craft markers, you can use your um, pencils if you want to, or your inks, they'll all work on here. And then of course, because it's hunky-dory, we're gonna give you the envelopes. So you've got everything you need there to make your cards and send them away. That is our Mattastic A6 printed and pre-scored card blanks, and they are $9.99. We have a new product for you as well, which is really exciting. So the other week we brought you our Duo Design paper pads, um, but we wanted to bring you um, sort of like different colors that you could work, use alongside these. Um, these are our Mattastic selection. So we have four pads in total um, that you can see here. So on one side, you have four different colorways. And then if we turn them around, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> I can't. If we turn them around, you have other colors on each side. So each pad, you get 48 pages in here. There are six different colorways, as you can see across the top. Um, and you're gonna get five of these, oh no, six of these, I think. So if we go one way, you can see that it goes from light to dark, but then on the opposite side, so this is in our apricot burst, which does match the colors of our, um, of our matastic. And then on the other side, we have the burnt sienna which goes from light to dark again. So this is Mattastic, so you can stamp straight onto here, you can cut out of here, you can do paper piecing with this. Um, it's a great GSM of 150, so perfect for stamping. It's quite lightweight, so if you want to sort of add lots to it, you can do as well. So that's the first one. Then we have um, French Blue and Forest Fern. So you can see there you've got blue on one side, green on the other side and again in the same way um, when we flick through you can see it on the other side you've got the darker colors to the lighter color in those two colors so it's really great for stamping for if you want to um, layer up your cards you can do that if you want to create different mixes we're going the other way here so we're going from light to dark but they have been designed to um, work with our Mattastic cardstock. The colours might be a little bit varied because of the style of the paper that we're using, but if you want to, say, use a pink um, of your Mattastic card, but then you want to stamp on paper just to make your card lighter, then you can do that with these paper pads. So this is our pink, um, our rich velvet and rosewood pink that you can see here. They're a great addition to crafting. Um, you can use these with your duo, duo design paper pads. Um, you can use these separately. So they're $24.96 altogether. If you want to buy them separately, however, you can do. They are each £9.99. Um, this is a great addition to your kits, especially if you're a stamper, because I know for sure that um, it's quite hard to sometimes find coloured paper that works with your stamp. So to be able to have these um, in eight different colorways, um, it's really it's really useful actually. Um, and it's definitely something that I will be using all of the time. Yes. Um, so that is your Duo Tones paper pads. Um, what else have we got on here? Oh, let's repeat the Win It Weekly question and then we'll head over to Rach for um, our final demo of the day. So. This is what got us all stunned this morning. <laughs> so our Win It Weekly question, we've got four winners and you're gonna win our Flutterby gift bag set. This works in your A4 die cutting machines and makes a beautiful gift bag for lots of different occasions. There's gonna be four winners 
Um, but this is the competition question you have to answer. You have to like, share, comment on this video on what is this phobia? I cannot say this. <laughs> Hippo something. <laughs> Hippo, Tom, a, it's the end bit. Strong. It's the middle bit. I can probably yeah. get the, the, the beginning and the end because clearly the end's phobia. It's like phyllo, <laughs> phyllo phobia. It's, it's like that Welsh town. <laughs> Oh, the longest, yeah. It's like that. It's, it's crazy, isn't it? So is it A, the fear of hippos, B, the fear of long words, or C, the fear of cheese? So what is the phobia? Like, share, and comment. Um, and that, on Friday's show, we will be announcing the winners, and you are going to be winning that die set. There's going to be four winners. So let's head over to Rach um, for our last demo, and then we will be leaving you to get on with your days. <laughs> right, so... Get my stuff. I didn't want to take it out of the bag while you were doing stuff. Oh, I know. It's quite noisy sometimes, isn't it? I always do that. When I'm at telly, I'm always like, oh, no, I'm going to get it out. <laughs> Let's get to that. So, I'm going to use... So, we're going to do a 5 by 7 card. Move them over. I've already started to do a little bit of it, so I'm just going to put that to one side. So, I'm going to start off by just cutting this down so it Lots doesn't... Lots of people loved that last card, Rachel. Just oh, to let you know. good. I'm very glad. Right. So I'm going to use the... Is it Celebrate? I can't remember yes, this one. Yes, the celebrate. Celebratory Occasions. Occasions. So we're going to use that one. So I'm just going to... So... Lots of people are getting their, um, their answers in. Make sure you like, share and comment. So this doesn't have to be straight on the card. So this is our Ink Me card again, because we're going to use some of the markers. So I'm just going to stamp this up. So you're using craft markers? Yes. So I'm guessing you're using Memento, Memento. for this? Yep. I know. It's something that you don't think about, do you, when you no, get all you these don't. different pens, but um, different pens work best with different inks. So craft markers, a memento, and then if you're stamping with um, and colouring in with water-based things, then Versafine is the best thing to use there. Isn't it? Oh, it's it's so opposites, it's, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so if you're doing so water, you're doing it's water, alcohol. You want alcohol-based ink. If you're doing alcohol-based colouring, you want a water-based water. ink pad. It's all very confusing. <laughs> but once you know how to do it, it's yeah. easy. Once you know how to do it, you get the hang of it. So I've stamped that, and now we're just going to cut round it. So we're going to cut, so I'll tell you the measurements of this in a sec. Are um, you cutting like quite close? Yeah, close as possible like to the design? exact on. If not, just a in, little bit over. Yeah. So there. So it's cut down to oh dear me, <laughs> um, two notches below three and a quarter, three and three quarters, and then this has gone down to five and a quarter. <laughs> Got there. Got there. Got there. It's fine. <laughs> So I'm just going to get my inks. So I'm going to use yellow, but I'm, I want this so it's going to be very light and also we're going to use an orange colour. So it's going to lightly press on this. And then I'm going to go in with the orange. Lots and lots and lots and lots of people are commenting with the same um, Answer, answer. for our question. I feel that I may have this fear after <laughs> today's show. I, I suppose it's a fear that you don't really think about, but actually, when you when you get like, put in that yeah, position, it's like oh, actually. We'll see how the rest this. of the team get on yeah. this week with giving you that question. Let's hope it's not just me <laughs> who um who can't pronounce it. Oh my gosh, that would be so funny, yeah. 
yeah i don't Wednesday think you're gonna be the only one <laughs> and kelly doing um hunky dory tv so yeah that's gonna be very funny because kelly she just won't know what to do she won't know what to do i hope she's not I hope she's not watching because I bet if I know. she's watching today, she'll <gasps> she, practice. Yeah. So this is how we'll know if Kelly is watched she, she today's show. The, oh, so, oh, so maybe she, knows. she does know. Oh, no, that's not fair. Who knows? She might not have thought about it. She's very busy. Oh. So I'm going to cut a little aperture out of this. So oh, that's a good I've idea. Got, yeah. So I've got the oval one. Because that fits quite well in there. Yeah, it, it does. It cuts off like a little bit of the stars, but that's all right. Not to worry about that. And so I'm just going to get some purple tape. Secure it. That's a whole lot easier than going round and fuzzy Yeah, it definitely. Because I did that and it took <laughs> ages. Oh, I can imagine. I got halfway through and thought, why did I decide to do this? <laughs> I know, I think it is one of those where you look at it and go, this would look so great for so cut. really cool. And then halfway through fussy like, cutting it, ooh. and your hands killing, you're like, no, I shouldn't have done this. So my purple tape. So if you are making this card at home, I'd probably recommend cutting out the aperture first because with the ink, the tape doesn't stick on. Christine has well. kindly sent us a YouTube link on how to pronounce this word. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shall we see if it plays? Yes. Let's see if it will let us do it. Pedaliophobia. Oh. Hippopotamonstro Ready? Hippopotamonstrosis quipidaliophobia. Wow. Hippopotamonstrosis quipidaliophobia. Yeah. Hippopotamonstrosis. Yeah, no. That's a, Hippop yeah. Yeah. Hippopotamonstrosis <laughs> quipid... Quipidabia. <laughs> quipidaliophobia. Phobia. Let's try it. Oh God! Oh. No, that, that, that is what that is what I was doing. That is definitely me. I was I like, he might have it. No, no, that's not for me. Thank you. I thought he was going to play again. Then we need to stop that. That was brilliant. Right, so so now I've cut that aperture out. I'm just going to go in and add a bit of the orange so that it shows up. Oh no! Um, right, I need to turn this down. <laughs> I need to stop messing. <laughs> so then I'm just going to cut down another piece of card. So this is going to go behind, behind it and then I'm going to add some foam pads to bring it up a little bit. So that, this piece can be a bit smaller than the front one, that's fine. So I'm going to just stamp the sentiment on this. So let's take that one off. Oh, I my think stamp you're stuck. <laughs> everything oh, sticks dear. to your stamping press. I know. You don't get everything stuck to the, the front of the stamping <laughs> press. You tend to lose the magnets on yes. anything that's magnetic that you put near it. I constantly lose my magnets on the back <laughs> of my trimmer or on a pair of scissors yeah. and I also have my watch has like a magnet thing oh no on it now that stops it and it tend and yeah stamping with when I've got my watch on is always <laughs> attaching itself to my it's watch always fun <laughs> it's yeah so I've just used the front part as a guide with where I want the sentiment to be um and then so we're just gonna ink this up So the sentiment I'm using is, couldn't be more proud of you. I do <laughs> no love <problem>. that. <laughs> it's nice to know that you're it making is. someone proud. And you know, you're not just doing a terrible <laughs> job. <laughs> Can you imagine if someone sent you a card with that? <laughs> oh. Congratulations, you're doing a terrible job. <laughs> I would find that hilarious. Like, yeah, yeah, I got a card. <laughs> you got a card, what does it say? Congratulations on doing a terrible job. <laughs> So we're just going to ink this bank background as well. So we're going to go quite a pale yellow around the edge and then I'm going to use a bit of the orange just in the middle so then that also stands out. 
And then before we stick it together, I've also got some of my marker pens just to colour in a little bit of it. So, been going. so we've got all yellow ones. I'm just going to have to test these. I know, this yeah. is the trouble I know. with these. It's like normally I have like, so the books, many. but there is so many of them, isn't there? So many different yellows, and some of them are really dark, some of them are light. really light. Some of them you think are yellow, but they're actually a little <laughs> bit orange. So yeah, definitely creating swatches. I think you can go and download them from our hub, actually. Yeah. Um, you can go online. I'm not sure whereabouts it is. We'll see if someone can um, add it. But you can go into our hub, and you can download the crafting markers um template you can print that out onto um, some ink me cardstock and each circle um, is numbered the same as your pens so then when That's you want so to cool. colour in a certain colour you can look at that and then you know or if you colour with these all the time you'll get to a point where you actually know what colour is what um, which, which I'm kind of at some, yeah. days, like, some days I'll pull out colour and I'll be like nope should like, not, no, not that one. <laughs> see I think even though I've used these for a long time but I still like that that in front of me, like to actually know what colour it is. I'm weird like that. Right, so I've just coloured in the stars. Are these markers very... still on? Oh, they offer. were on the offer, weren't they? Because they were. They were on. They were part of our Super Savers deals. Because um, Claire's just said, I think I must get these markers. They were on at the very beginning of the year. We did a Super Savers deal and they were on there. So we'll have a look for you to see um, if they're still on. But they are really fantastic. Like Rachel's doing here using your inks and your markers together. You get sort of that combination of where you want really vibrant yeah. things. Um, but then when you want quite light things, you can use your ink. So you can use them together, which is quite nice as well. So... But this is looking really fantastic. Yeah, and it's so simple because all what I'm doing is using like them same colours, but like they're so different in that shade that they really stand out. Right. So I've noticed I've missed a star. I'm just gonna go in and get that one. And what one was that? So we're just gonna get these bits here. And then I've got an orange one for the background bits to these. So we're just gonna do these ones up here. And then I'll go in, oh there's some there that I've missed, and then we'll go in and get an orange just to do the shading bits. That looks really cool. Um, I've, I've just realised that um, I haven't I haven't done something that's very important to Monday's oh, no. show. I haven't done the Hunky Dory headlines. Oh! oh Shall we yes. do them quickly while you're coming yeah. and then we'll come back to you, right? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so here are today's Hunky Dory headlines. <laughs> Good morning, I am Natalie McFancy Pants and here are today's Hunky Dory headlines. Um, we're going to have three more shows for you this week, not two, three more shows. Um, on Wednesday we're going to take a trip down memory lane because we are launching our brand new square memory book die, so don't miss that out on that with Sheila and um, Kelly. On Thursday at 10am we're going to have a show dedicated to our fantastic memory uh, Box Magazine, they are gonna, there's going to be loads and loads of demos. Um, there's going to be me and Dan running you through that. We don't normally do a show just dedicated on the Box Magazine, so we thought, what a great idea. Um, and then you need to set your reminders because on Friday at 9am, at 10am, sorry, we are going to show you our brand new club gift and we cannot wait. Um, there's some breaking news. Um, there's a new type of broom in stores. It's sweeping the nation. <laughs> um, we have some stock updates for you as well. 
Um, heavyweight acetate, snowfall acetate, finger lift tapes and miri mats are now back in stock. So if you've wanted those for a while, head over to the website, you can get those now. Um, in other news, my friend Jack says he can't communicate with vegetables. Um, Jack and the beans. Oh no, he can communicate with vegetables. <laughs> I'm terrible at telling these jokes. Ruined it These now. are damn Ruined jokes. Shall we start dun, again? Dun, dun. Um, my friend Jack says he can communicate with vegetables. Woo! Jack and the beans talk. <laughs> no, you ruined it. I've ruined it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm not good at these jokes. Um, but now it's time for the thoughts of the week. All my life, I thought air was free until I bought a bag of crisps. How true is that? Ah, oh, that is very true. <sighs> Stressful. When you open a bag of crisps and there's like a third, <laughs> a third of the crisps in the packet. Um, let's go back over to Rachel and see what she's been doing with her demo. So I've just coloured in the whole of that and also I've gone in for the sentiment and I've put a bit of orange in. So now we're going to stick this on with foam pads. But before I stick it on... That. <laughs> we, should, we, should just, we should just leave it to down. We should get him to pre-record everyone. I think, so. I think that's what we should do now. So I'm just going to use the backing piece for a, gu for a guide because I want to stick some black behind it just so it stands out. Because I've also created a background but I've used the same colours so it might not stand out if I don't do this. So we're just going to cut that down. So that will give it a thin border. And we're just going to stick that together with some double sided tape. And then we'll stick the front part on. Yeah. Why not? Everyone is agreeing we need to bring back down to the jokes. <laughs> I, I also agree. I agree too. So I'm just going to put a little bit of wet glue onto my foam pads because I can, they never stick if you pop it on because I've inked the background that it's going on to. And make sure we get it the right way and also then you've got some wiggle room so it's going to stick that on yep. and then I'm going to bring in this so I've already done this so I've stamped the champagne glass image and I've inked the background same as I have with the front and I've also coloured a little bit of the champagne glasses. It looks really nice, that background. Thank that you. background just with this sentiment on would make a really yeah, nice Yeah, it would, card. wouldn't it? And then we are going to stick this down as well. And then we'll just stick it to the card blank. Make sure that's in the middle. Michelle said she wants to hear Dan pronounce that long word. He'll be pra probably be practicing all week. I'll tell you what, he won't. He won't have a clue. He'll so probably on, say he will. And he, then yeah, on right. Thursday we'll see. Because I don't think he's seen it. So on Thursday we'll see. Because it'll be very, very funny um, watching him try and pronounce that word. I think I'm gonna definitely watch to see that. Alright, I'm just going to stick that down, and there you go! Ta-da! I love that card. Thank it's you. Very, very cool. Um, you've done some amazing demos today, Rachel, oh, so thank, thank you, you very much. much for that, because um, there's been some great inspiration there on how to use these stamps. Um, but that is it. We are done. Um, we've shown you everything there is on this brand new launch. Um, please head over to the website, take another look, have a look at some of the cards that will be on there. Um, because these are really essential stamps that are going to get you through the year for so many different occasions. There's some really nice sentiments on there as well that um, possibly you might not get um, in different stamp sets. So for 24, oh no, that's the duotones, for £32, <laughs> 
um, you can get those stamps all together and then of course we've got those extra bits like our duo tones paper pads and our A6 card blanks for you as well. Um, but that is it. Um, our TV schedule for the week, um, we're here three times, we are th here three more times this week. We have shows on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday for you. Um, on Creating Craft, um, I will be there tomorrow at half past one with our memory book planner. So please join me at half one and 6.45 I will be there doing those shows. Um, we're gonna add our acrylic block set, which is just here to our rollover box, um, which is getting super, super busy. And then our next live show is with Sheila and Kelly on um, Wednesday at 10 a.m. So please join us then. Um, thank you very much for um, your company this morning. We hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it's been very fun trying to pronounce yeah, words that are has been far too you. long to <laughs> pronounce. Thank you for that, Emily. Um, but we will, we will, um, we'll leave you to your Monday. Have a great day, and we'll see you on uh, Wednesday. Bye. Bye.